Welcome back to another episode of Baking with Lexi. Today I'm going to make an all-American treat for you. A s'more bar, but we don't have an open fire in the house. We just have an oven. So let me teach you how to make this s'more bar. All right, in my bowl I have two eggs, and to it I'm going to add one cup of sugar and a half a cup of brown sugar. I'm just going to cream this together first. So next I'm going to add two sticks of butter. It's best if it's room temperature, but I didn't really plan accordingly, so I didn't have this out. But I just microwaved it for about 30 seconds, and it's good to go. And then I'm also going to add two teaspoons of vanilla. And now we mix again. If you don't have a hand mixer, that's okay. You can use a KitchenAid mixer, or just use manpower. Use your hand. All right, now I have my flour, baking soda, and salt all in my bowl. I'm gonna just add it in and start mixing. Okay, now what's a s'more without graham crackers? There is none, you're right. So I crushed up some graham crackers and just gonna add it right into the bowl. One of my favorite things about summer is making a s'more. But the nice thing about this s'more bar is you can have it year round. You don't ever have to compromise when you want a s'more. I got a 9x13 pan sprayed with some non-sticking cooking spray. So I'm going to split my batter in half. So I'm going to put half the batter at the bottom, spread it out, and then add the goodness. Okay, so next I'm going to teach you a trick. So you take the lid of your 9 by 13 pan, put some wax paper down, and put the rest of the um, crust right on there. Spread it all out. And look, I got a little couple little helpers with me. Got my nephew and my niece here today, and they're gonna help make this to finish off the s'more bar. The reason I'm doing this is because it's gonna be a lot easier to put the top on the s'more. Then I can just flip it over and peel off the wax paper. All right, so this recipe is really great for kids to help with because who doesn't love putting chocolate and marshmallows on something? All right, kids, go ahead. Put your chocolate on here. You can break it. You can put it any, any way you want. Just make sure it's all covered. <laughs> so if you don't have a Hershey bar, you can use chocolate chips. Just cover your crust with some chocolate chips. Next, we're gonna add some marshmallows to it. If you don't have marshmallows, you can use marshmallow fluff, or if you have giant marshmallows, that's okay too. Get creative. All right, guys, go ahead and cover it now with some marshmallows. Let's go like this, man. Hey, you're only supposed to have one. Okay, now that we've got the filling in, here comes the crust. So it's going to be a lot easier now because we have it on the wax paper to just flip it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can I pat it right down there? Yep. So then we can just smush it out just a little bit. <laughs> and now it's covered. Now we're going to bake this in a 350 degree oven until it's nice and golden brown. Okay, s'more bars came out of the oven looking nice and golden brown, a little bit of bubbly. Now it's time to let them cool. This is where you have to be patient. You don't want to cut them while they're still hot or it just turns into a gooey mess. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and cut my bars. Okay, it's my favorite part of the whole video. It's taste test time. And I got three, no, you hold it. <laughs> hey, taste it, guys. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Is that good? Yeah. Max, what do you think? <laughs> I think it's kid approved. Wait. Well, I'm gonna get back to hanging out with these littles. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Baking with Lexi.